Hey guys, Joe with Homestar Financial here. Thanks for watching another video. Today, I want to talk to you about whether you should buy a car or a house first. Hey guys, so I'm going to explain to you why I think you should buy a house first versus buying a car first. So, um, if you buy a car, you're going to have a high monthly payment and you're not going to be building any equity whatsoever. You're going to be losing equity on a daily basis. As soon as you drive that car off the lot, you just probably lost 10 grand on it. So you're not going to be building equity. With a house, you're going to be building equity and rates are super low right now. So, so with buying, buying a house, you can be building equity, rates are low right now, uh, it's a really, really good time to do it. So uh, another reason is if you buy a car, you're probably going to have to continue renting and maybe even live with your parents. And we both know that you probably want to get out of your parents' house probably pretty soon. So, um, with, with buying a car first, um, a car dealership is not going to look at your debt to income ratio whatsoever. They really don't care. If you have a decent credit score, they're probably going to give you the car because they can just repo it and uh, kill your credit score. So with us, we actually care about your debt to income ratio. We want to make sure that you can actually afford that house. So if you go buy that car first and that car payment is $500 a month, well, you probably just dock yourself on an extra $50,000 in qualification on how much house you can qualify for. So um, that's a, a really, really big reason not to buy a car first and to buy a house first. So another reason is you can sell the car in two years and you're probably gonna lose 10, 15 grand on it. If you sell a house in two years, you're probably gonna make 10, 15 grand on it. So that's what I think, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll talk to you soon.